All right, guys. So this is gonna be a video that's a little bit different, but what I'm gonna need y'all to do is quit shopping at Walmart. Yes, guys, stop shopping at Walmart if you are trying to save on your grocery bill. Walmart is not a grocery store. Walmart is a one-stop shop, guys. You can get your hair done, your nails done, your pet groom, your car fix, all type of stuff. But they don't specialize in groceries. They specialize in everything else. They don't have time to weekly rotate their grocery deals. They don't have time to update their apps with digital coupons. And that's why it's very important when you are grocery shopping to go to a grocery store. Um, a couple stores that are grocery stores are stores like Kroger's, um, Myers, Tum Thumbs, Albertsons, Jewel Osco. Now, name some of these different places Publix, HEB, because I know statewide, not every state has the same stores. Like, I have a Kroger's here in Texas. I don't have an HEB really close. I don't have a Publix really close. So, those are stores that I see really good deals at, but I don't have them in my state. But if you have them in your state, these are stores that you want to go to. Reason being, too, with the stores, guys, every week they usually have promotional deals going on and they're trying to push out their groceries. So, they might have deals on canned goods, they might have deals on fresh food. Uh, fruits vegetables cereal dairy and then once a week they rotate a lot of the stores the deals are between sunday is when they start and saturday is when they end um so i am at kroger's kroger's deals actually start on wednesday so we're at the first day of the deal so guys they should be fully stocked with everything that they're going to have on sale for this week and their sales end on tuesday but guys once again they're going to reset so they're going to be different things on sale some of the same things last the entire month but generally and um general aspect it is really good to go grocery shopping once a week if you're going to the grocery store because usually the sales change if you see a really good sale of course stock up but if you see something that's kind of an okay price guys get what you need for that time frame and then nine times out of ten pretty soon is going to go back on sale and it might be better these stores also have digital coupons when you download the app literally you can go clip every coupon for things that you are going to use because sometimes there is a limit so the first thing i would say is things you know you're going to use clip coupons for and things that you might use go ahead and clip them for and then when you go to the store guys literally all you have to do is put your phone number in it's a very simple process you don't have to pull out your coupon binder like we used to back in the day as all of the coupons will be digital and they will be loaded to your account one thing that i love about kroger's is some of the coupons that are digital coupons you can use up to five times a lot of stores you use it once once you have that digital coupon once you meet the qualifications of the items and you use it that's it but kroger's does have certain coupons and it'll tell you too on the coupon if it is a five time use now you can only use it one time but you can use it up to five times so if you have five of those items in your cart you're usually able to use that one coupon for all five items so like i said even if you don't have a kroger's guys go to a grocery store that is going to be the best way to save on your grocery deals and even if you're not for sure one day go to a grocery store and look at the things that you normally would pick up and buy at walmart and compare prices you're gonna see how much cheaper it is so guys we are at kroger's right now so i'm gonna go in and show you guys some of the deals hopefully we have some good ibotta rebates or good digital coupons i'm not for sure exactly what the deals are quite this week i didn't look at the app but we're gonna go in store and i'm gonna point out all of the high value deals that i think is gonna be worth doing um all the deals that are worth saving on and guys like i said some of these deals are just savings they're not rebates you don't have to do anything like literally it's just the store is marking it down for you in order for you to buy it so let's go ahead and see what we can find all right, guys, so I really don't drink pop, so this is not a deal for me. But, guys, do you see this? Buy two, get three free. So, guys, buying two of these at 20 bucks, you're going to get three of them for free. Guys, yes. That is already an amazing deal starting off, guys. That's a $50 value at that price at $9.99 for just 20 bucks. I'm going to see what that was included. Fanta. Guys, they even have the zero sugar. So if you're a zero sugar person, that's generally what I buy from purchasing pop or something like that. Oh, guys, already, like we literally just went in the store. Like we literally just walked in and I'm already seeing deals. <laughs> I just said I was not a pop drinking person. I was not going to get any pops. But guys, with the Ibotta rebate, I bought something you bet $2 when you buy one of these. Guys, he has two bucks when you buy one. Now you're going to buy two and get three of them for free. So you're going to get five cases in total. And I bought something you back $2. It should give you back the ones on the free one as well because they do bring up. So I'm uh, about 99% sure you should get back the $2 on all five of them getting back 10 bucks guys and making it ten dollars for five cases of pop i'm gonna get these and my husband can take them to work with him or i can take them to work with me because i'm not really gonna drink them but i will get all the zero sugar ones so i'll probably 
drink a case or two but the other ones i'm probably either gonna give to my husband to take to his job and or take it to my job and let them have it all right guys so here's another amazing deal i just literally walked to the second section now guys i really hope y'all follow me for these grocery deals so i know right now we're in an unhealthy section but we ain't done like we're just going section by section to see which aisle has something you know worth getting so guys these cheese it snapped are on clearance well not on clearance but on sale they're 4.79 for one yeah guys 12.79 for just one of these guys, they have a 5x digital coupon which means guys that coupon we can use up to five times and get them for a dollar 99 now guys that's already a good deal in itself but i'll $1.99 from 4.79 but guys ibotta does have a rebate giving you back a dollar when you buy one so making it just 99 cents yes guys 99 cents so i decided to just grab two because your girl you know is trying to lose some weight i lost about 24 pounds and so i'm not trying to come in here and stock up on unhealthy things but at 99 cents i think that's a good deal so i got one for me and one for my husband guys well, here are the different flavors i wish you can actually get the cheese it's but the cheese is not part of the rebate it is the cheese it snap that is and then guys even after that Now, the only thing I will say with these guys is you do have to buy five or more. So, watch out for some of the deals. So, on here, you have to buy five or more to get it for $1.99 each. So, if you buy just one, it's going to be $2.99, guys. Okay, so this is still a good deal right here. But, guys, definitely want to make sure you watch out for it. Because when they say buy five or more, that means you have to buy five participating items. So, it doesn't have to be just five of this one thing. But if you see something with this same tag that says buy five or more, you can grab that. So grabbing one of these guys, you're, only, you're going to be paying $2.99. So if you get to the registers and wonder why it's $2.99, it's because you did not grab five participating items. And remember, you can mix and match. So you get any of these flavors here. Guys, it doesn't even have to be the goldfish brand. It just has to have this tag on it. All right, guys, so here's another tag you want to watch out for where it says buy three or more. Now, guys, you have to buy three of these, which is still a pretty good deal because that's what, two, four, six. So you're going to about six like $5.97 for three of them. It's $4.99 for one. So if Triscuit is something that you like, hey, that's probably a pretty good deal to pick up on. But guys, you have to buy three or more. So like I said, read the tags. Three or more for this one. You have to buy five or more to get it for this price. Guys, and this is, like I said, what I'm looking for. This is the $1.99 digital you can use up to five times. Guys, so you can buy just one. Or you can buy up to five and use that dollar digital coupon or the dollar 99 digital coupon sale so you grab up to five of these if you would like or just one and it'll still be a dollar 99 now guys look at this this is another one you can get up to five of these for a dollar 99 guys you get five bags of these chips for about 10 bucks a little like nine something but guys you see how much they were before 439 now, once again, remember, you can buy just one. So, if you want to buy just one bag of chips at $2, you definitely can do that. But you can buy up to five at this price. There's how much these are at the regular store. And then, guys, here's another one. Where you buy two and you get three for free. All right, guys. So, I'm not a coffee drinker and I did not see any rebates on Ibotta for these. But, guys, just with the digital coupon alone, you're looking at $6.99. So, it's like you're cutting your bill in half already. And you don't have to do anything but clip this coupon. I'll go down here because I know this is more of a popular brand on the Folgers, guys. Now, when you go out, if you know you buy these things, see how much you are normally paying out of pocket at places like Walmart. Well, pretty much it's Walmart. A lot of other places, stores that you shop at are almost other than like Target. But Target even has coupons. Target has digital coupons, guys. So go to Target or Walmart. See how much you're going to pay for these without any deal. Like just everyday prices. This store even has a good deal on their clearance, guys. Look at this, the Dove deodorant, $2.62. I don't need any deodorant. Oh, I need to see if they have coupons. I might have a coupon attached to it. So we're gonna find out, but I don't need any deodorant specifically. So if I'm gonna be paying this much for it, I'm not gonna get it. Oh, look at this, the Sweet Baby Ray's, 90 cents. Guys, I'm about to go through and scan some stuff to see. Now guys, remember clearance varies by location. So just because it's on clearance at my location does not mean it's on clearance at your location, but you can always check your clearance section for some of these things. Guys, I should have came here first. I went to Walmart, my deal didn't even go good, so I didn't even post the on video. And I don't have that much time, I have to be at work. I'm so mad, I said go to Kroger's first. I said go to Kroger's and Dollar General. And I end up, like you don't know, let me stop at Walmart. I got five different, um, <coughs> only needed nine more rebates to get my five dollar bonus. Guys, I would have came here. I would have hit this is what seven. I would have had seven of them just with these items in my cart alone. So next time I'm gonna listen to my first mindset and come to Kroger's. <laughs> 
my gosh, guys, this might be the best one I see on the baby formula as far as in clearance. This is originally $45.99. Now, me, I'm going to kiss. I don't know how much it normally is or if that is a good and or bad price. I know $11.50 is definitely a good price for this. Now, this one is marked down too. It was marked down a little bit, but guys, $11.50? Like, sweet Jesus. So those are just some other things that I found on clearance over here. Guys, remember clearance is different in each store. So just because I'm finding it here does not mean it's going to be clearance at your store. But once again, these are just items to look out for. So go down your baby section and hopefully you can find some. All right, guys, so the 4th of July coming up, I definitely know this is an amazing deal on the Kroger sausage price at $2.99. That's for the 18 ounce. I'm trying to get over here. But every time I come over here, somebody's over here, guys. $2.99 a pound for the ribs. Look at this big old slab, $12.79. And I might be coming back to grab some right before the 4th. Guys, I mean, even look at this. It has a coupon attached to it. I'm not going to get it. It ain't worth it. It's still kind of a little high. But guys, look at this. The pork line gross. Guys, these are definitely, definitely good prices on the meats. Because they even have this one clearance, $6.95. So they do have reduced meat too. So a lot of times you're able to find something that's a reduced price here. I think that, I'm not sure, I think 21. I, I'm not, I, I don't know if this coupon attaches as well, making it 1210. Um, oh, okay, so never mind. It includes the savings. So the $10 is included with that. Good. All right, guys. And then on the brisket, you know, brisket gets expensive. Now, honestly, I'm not for sure how much brisket is. Honestly, because I don't buy it. I just know it's expensive. But here are some prices, guys, just in case these are good prices for you. All right, guys. Here's another amazing deal on the ice cream. On the counter, I got to go to work and I'm not going straight home. I'm not going to grab none. But you guys, your girl is coming back. I don't know. I guess the zero sugar is not included because it ain't got no tag on it. But the rest of these are. As these are definitely amazing, amazing for the summer. And then guys, even the regular Kroger brand ice cream has $1.99. Now guys, this is one of the ones you can use up to five times. So you can buy one at $1.99, but I'm gonna max out when I come back. I'll probably come back tomorrow when I'm going directly home afterwards and grab those, so Texas is hot. So literally by the time I make it from the shopping, from the store to my car, the ice cream is damn near melted. So I'm gonna go exactly directly home tomorrow once I pick them up, but I'm probably gonna go ahead and grab five of them at 10 bucks. Guys, I love those things too. They are so freaking good. Guys, yes. I, I hate to not get a chance to show you more because like I said, your girl gotta go to work, um, but I definitely will be coming back to Kroger's probably tomorrow and I will definitely show you more stuff that I find. All right, guys, so I'm at work. That's why I'm doing a video. It looks like this in my background. But, guys, after all that, I'm going to go ahead and go over my receipt and why it looks the way it does. So, guys, I actually end up forgetting to freaking clip the coupon. Take that back. I thought I clipped it, but I guess I did not. I was, like, 99% sure. Um, so, by the time my transaction was done, I was like, why is this so much? I was a little bit, you know, confused about the out-of-pocket cost because I did have $10.35 in Kroger's cashback rewards. Guys, if you're interested in hearing about that, just let me know. And I will make another video about how that works. But I end up using $10.35. So I'm like, my total should have been less. I did get the deodorant. I was like, well, maybe the deodorant did come up the correct price. Because I mean, it was a little off. It wasn't too, too off. But the deodorant came up the two sixty two. The five dollar off coupon worked. The um, the Blue Baby Rays was ninety cent. But what I realized when I was looking overlooking my coupon is, guys, it ended up coming up to three ninety nine, which was full price without the dollar ninety nine digital coupon for the cheeses. So guys, I end up going to return it and the way the lady tried to re tried to do it when she returned it, she tried to return it and then re-ring me up at the same time for the purchase because I did not want to spend that much and I still wanted to submit my receipt to Ibotta. Um, so when she was done with it, the receipt looked really confused and so I went to submit it to Ibotta, but they rejected it because it did not have the total on it. So that's why my receipt looks the way it does. Um, I ended up submitting that receipt. Ibotta did pick up on the Starry, but it only picked up on two because the other three were free. So guys, literally all I did was go in and scan them like I clicked it 
to verify more offers when they scanned it didn't have any problems and then i did it for the cheese it too it did pick up one cheese it but it didn't pick up both of them but i did go scan it to verify more offers now i'm happy that it actually ended up giving me credit because usually with ibotta if you return something like they link like they be knowing that you return something so usually on the receipt if you do they will not give you credit for it but they ended up giving me credit back for one so i was like you know what that's fine i'm glad i at least got credit back for one and i didn't lose credit for both of them because of having to return it and redo it guys i might still do the same rebate again because my husband has the same um in fact i gotta check to see if he has the same rebates if he does i'll probably redo it the correct way so you guys can see the receipt because 12 dollars, guys for five cases of pop and two bags of the cheeses like you can't beat that especially if you are trying to save on your grocery guide this is how you save as i know these not, might not be the most healthiest things but guys we're america we are known for having big bags so trust me some of y'all are gonna love this deal even though it's not the healthiest